In today's video, we are going deeper into the cranium with one of the most influential dural release techniques, the sphenobasilar junction decompression. So this is the sphenoid bone, and it is called the keystone of cranium because it connects with every other bone in the skull. The point where the sphenoid meets the base of occiput is called the sphenobasilar junction. And with manual therapy, this point can be influenced here at the greater wing of sphenoid bone. Another interesting fact here is, the dura matter attaches here with its rich fibers. So this area is one of the highly influenced area of the nervous system. And in between sphenoid, some highly important neural structures such as brainstem, pituitary gland, are also located. And if this area is upregulated, symptoms such as tension headaches, poor sleep, sympathetic pain are seen in body. So we are going to see a simple, yet effective manual therapy technique for this area called the sphenobasilar junction decompression. Let's look into it. Patient lies supine and relaxed. Therapist sits at the head of the table. Your thumbs rest lightly on the greater wings of the sphenoid, just lateral to the eyes. Your fifth fingers, pinky side, should land over the occiput, supporting the posterior skull. The rest of your hand passively cups the head with no squeezing or pressing. This is a technique of stillness, patience, and presence. Once your hands are in place, do not push, pull, or move. Stay in this neutral hold for 90 seconds to two minutes or until you feel a clear release, often experienced as softening of tissue and deep exhale or sign from the patient. Now, if you look closely, you will understand why this technique works. From the sphenobasilar junction, dura matter connections arise till the sacrum, and the alignment at this junction also influences the alignment of the spine. So that's why this area is so important to release in manual therapy. So apply this technique in your patients who complain of multiple site body pain or have chronic stress or anxiety. Let us know the results in comments. Thanks for watching.